What is good YouTube? Before the video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're actually running a $50 giveaway all the way up until Halloween. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is just comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. The $50 can be claimed in the form of a Steam gift card, an Xbox gift card, or a PlayStation gift card. So make sure you enter the giveaway, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. What is good YouTube? It is G from the Fit4 Mortals back with another Wizard 101 video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the schools in regard to soloing in this game. I feel like probably most people who play this game nowadays are going to be soloing just because there isn't as many people who play the game as a whole. I figured I'd just go through every school and kind of talk about how it does soloing throughout the game. And at the end, I'll give you guys kind of a general recommendation who's the easiest to solo with, who's the hardest to solo with. And yeah, let's get right into it so first i'm just probably gonna go around starting with storm i'm gonna go around ravenwood and just kind of talk about each school first is the school of storm now storm is kind of dependent on how good you are but if you're somewhat like competent and somewhat good at the game storm will be probably one of the easiest schools to solo with one thing i see with storm is sometimes people will pack every they'll they'll literally fill their entire deck with spells and with storm that's not what you want to do because storm is is the highest damaging school in the game they're kind of like a glass cannon type of school and if you pack you know a couple tempests but you pack like a million different other cards you're not gonna be able to find those tempests and you're gonna die before you can even find those tempests so i'd say it's really dependent on the player but you can kind of just roll through the game as storm if you know kind of what you're doing and and know how to play the game but like i said storm is probably one of the easiest i would say just to put it out there i would say it's probably one of the most boring schools in the game just because it is like so repetitive and so you know rinse and repeat you blade tempest you blade blade faint tempest like it's just it's not very fun and it's really really repetitive so that's storm um it's very easy if you know what you're doing kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing if you know what you're doing though you can just kind of roll through the game and it's very easy and a little bit boring second is ice now ice is a little bit it, it's a very unique school in the fact that you just have so so much health you can't necessarily heal but if, if you get a life mastery amulet you can use all life spells all your power pips are able to be used with life spells normally power pips don't count towards other schools except for your own but if you do get that life mastery amulet and you're an ice wizard it is just you will never die i mean there's no real way you would die ice can be pretty fun though just because you do have to set up an attack very strategically just because you you don't do like any damage it's the lowest damaging school in the game ice is pretty fun you probably won't die much but it is it takes a little bit of thought and strategy in order to kill the enemies and another thing to note is that you're you don't get your blade until level 38 so i'd say if you're playing as ice a pet with a blade is probably the most important thing that you can get just because you don't get that blade to level 38 so yeah overall ice is pretty good it's pretty fun just because it's pretty strategic i wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're trying to like rush through the game though because it probably is the slowest leveling school you can get um it is very defensive and you have the most health in the game so but the trade-off is that you don't do like any damage <laughs> next is fire now fire is interesting i think fire could be one of the best schools in the game it's pretty much if storm had a little bit more health and a little bit less damage it's pretty much the same thing as storm the thing about fire is that you do like damage over time one of the big spells you get is fire dragon which is an aoe spell for three rounds after you hit with the fire dragon it'll do damage to all the enemies but like i said fire is pretty much it's pretty much like one of the best it's definitely at least the second best hitting school in the game maybe behind storm but but like i said fire is pretty much storm but just with a little bit more health and a little bit less damage so kind of everything that i said about storm you could kind of say the same thing about fire you can kind of rinse through the game and it's a little bit repetitive as fire but you can get through the game pretty fast and i'd say in end game fire is probably one of if not the best school in the game um, as far as damaging goes fire is pretty fun I'd say it's more fun than Storm just because you don't do as much damage as Storm, but and you stay al alive a little bit longer, but fire is very good. It's very similar to Storm. Next is death. Now, death is um, probably, it's probably the best school in the game for soloing. Just because the healback spells are just so, so good. Death isn't really that good at any one thing. It's not, you know, in late game, you're expected to be a little bit more of like a support role. Just because Storm and Fire do more damage. But I would say the thing about death is that its strength is soloing. I mean, if you hit, you get half your damage back with pretty much every spell from the death school. Like if you, if you hit someone, 
one for 3,000 damage, you get 1,500 back. So you pretty much will never die as death. I will say it's not necessarily like completely overpowered. It is kind of overpowered, to be honest. It kind of is. But one of the things about death is that it's just kind of nice, if that makes any sense. Like you'll fight, you'll, you'll be in a battle, you'll be in a boss battle, you'll finally kill the boss, and you'll get all of your health back. It's just a little bit nice. You don't have to run around, find wisps. You know, you don't have to spend money on potions or play mini games or whatever. Death is probably the best school in the game for soloing, but it's not necessarily the best school in the game for anything else, if that makes any sense. You have decent health, pretty good damage, but you do get your health back. So you don't really need to ever worry about your health pretty much as death. If you want to never die, play death. It's a little bit boring too, honestly, just because it's not much of a challenge. But next is myth. Myth is the highest damaging school out of all the spirit schools, which are myth, life, and death. Myth's probably, in my opinion, myth's one of the more fun schools in the game. Its main thing is that you can summon minions and you can stun. Now, neither of those things really are useful at all in the late game just because so many bosses are stun immune and a lot of times you'll be with four people anyway so you can't even summon a minion. And the minions sometimes can just like, if you're setting up an attack and you have like a feint on that boss and you, the minion might hit with like a blood bat and you're like, all right, like, you know, that, that didn't help at all. It just kind of hurt. But myth's pretty fun just because it's a little bit challenging and I think it's the least picked school in the game. But I mean, like I said, you have a pretty good amount of damage. It's not as much as fire or storm, so you'll probably play a little bit more of a support role if you do um, get to late game. But it has pretty good damage and it has pretty good health. I'd relate myth most to probably fire. It's probably a little bit worse than fire, but fire and storm, like I said, are pretty, pretty boring to play. So if you're looking for like a damaging school that's fun to play, I'd play myth. Overall, it's not as good as Storm and Fire, but that kind of makes it a little bit more challenging and a little bit more fun. So next is Life, which if you couldn't tell, I am on my life right now. Life is, in my opinion, it's very fun. Uh, just because your damage isn't that great, but you have so much health and you can heal. So you feel pretty useful when you're with a team. You know that your team will never die pretty much if you play your cards right and you heal them properly. I will say, I, I think like in Zafaria-ish, life is actually like the second highest damaging school in the game, which is kind of funny, but early on, it's pretty hard to get by just because of you the fact that you don't have a four pip AoE. You can craft one of the spells it's like rat spin or something you can craft that and that's a four pip aoe but you can also get this pet that i have the uh, kookaburra pet that gives you a four pip leaf storm i will say having this pet was super super helpful and like breezed me through the game compared to if i didn't have the pet however it did make it a little bit boring you just kind of blade hit with your leaf storm and you kill everything but nowadays, I have Forest Lord, and I'm kind of going through Celestia right now with him, and it's pretty fun. But like I said, at the end of the game, life is pretty useful, just because most of the times you will need a life in order to heal. And sometimes it can be a little bit stressful, to be honest, but... I'd say life's pretty fun. If you're looking for the healing class, I mean, this is the healing school, so I would go with life. Um, you probably won't ever really die just because you can pack so many healing spells in your deck if you're like doing a solo boss fight or something. And anytime I draw one, I just kind of keep it there. And if, I've ever, if I'm ever close to dying, I can just go ahead and heal. So you probably won't ever die, but it's still a little bit hard to like set up an attack and set up an attack that will actually kill the enemy, sort of like ice. Now, the last school that I haven't talked about yet is balance balance is you know by the name it's balanced it has decent health decent damage you know decent resist all those sorts of things i will say though balance is probably the hardest school in the game to solo with just because there's a lot of balanced bosses and balanced enemies and you don't have a prism meaning if you fight you know if you're a balanced wizard and you fight a balanced boss there's so much resist from the balanced boss that you can't like counteract with other schools say you're storm and you're fighting a storm boss you can put a storm prism on that boss and it'll do myth damage which is actually boost the damage instead of resist it but balance you can't do that there's no prism in the game for a while i will say though you do get a four pip aoe pretty early on at level 16. It's probably the most rewarding school in the game, but it's also probably the most challenging school in the game. In endgame, balance is probably the best support class in the game just because the blades are universal. So if you put a blade on any wizard, then they will do extra damage versus if you're like a storm, like I said, and you put a storm blade on a life, like that's not going to do anything.
rewarding. I'd say Balance is probably the most rewarding school in the game. A lot of the spells later on will actually have, you know, like a Hydra, for example. It'll have like fire damage, ice damage, and storm damage all in one. It can kind of make it a little bit fun and a little bit challenging, um, especially with, like I said, with getting through those Balance bosses. So I'd say Balance is balanced. It's the best support class in the game if you want to play support. And it's a little, it's probably the most challenging school in the game to get through solo wise. So overall, I'd say the best school in the game for soloing is death just because death like the main strength is the fact that it can solo this was actually when i was a kid i picked death because i looked it up and i was like oh death's the best school in the game for soloing play death it is a little bit boring just because you will never die but it's pretty nice it, you get the heal back and you can kind of move on when you're done with a boss fight i'd say the worst school in the game for soloing is probably balance just because it's the worst school doesn't mean it's the most boring school i think that balance is definitely hard to play this kind of makes it fun and a little bit more challenging so yeah pretty much death's the best balance is the worst Balance is pretty fun though, and Death's a little boring. That's just my opinion. I'd say Storm is probably a close second with Death as far as best school in the game for soloing. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave any uh, video ideas or videos that you want to see in the comments below, and I'll try to go ahead and do those. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.